Hey everybody, it's Jane Johnston with the Briar Hill Group at Remax Camosun. It is December 6th and I thought I'd give you a market update for what's been happening in the Victoria real estate market up to November 30th for 2020. So let's get started. So here we are with our in-depth market analysis. And... The first thing you need to know is that the market has been very fast. Uh, in November 2020, we had 795 sales. That's up from 577 last year for the same month. And new listings, we had 823, and that's up from 750 last year. And uh, we are also, sorry, um, up uh, 1,813 active listings. That is down from 2,397. So we have more listings and uh, over the past month, but also more sales resulting in less listings overall. I love this graph because it shows me where the sales are happening and what the price ranges are. So I'll just get my mouse out here. You can see uh, Oak Bay has been very active. We've had a lot of listings in the higher end, and this has affected the overall average sales. Same thing in Saanich East, which is generally our fastest selling area in the city. However, Oak Bay is giving it a good run for the money. Uh, in Oak Bay as well, you can see anything over a million has been going uh, steady all year up to about 1.35. And in Saanich East, we see a lot of activity around the uh, 750 to the 1 million mark. So very active. If you're looking for uh, lower price homes, you can check out Callwood. You can see they have a lot of activity in the 849 and down to the 650 mark. And in Langford, they have, and I'm only talking about single families here, uh, from the 550 mark up always uh, to a million dollars, it has been very active. And the higher end happening down in the core and a very solid middle end in the West Shore. Now, in terms of total new listings and total MS, MLS sales, you can see that in December, we generally have a lack of listings. So this is uh, very consistent between December 2018, 2019, and coming into December of 2020. And the listings went down to, the total new listings went down to less than 400 uh, both those years. And it looks like we're probably going to have that again this year, just because seasonally people aren't looking to sell at the, during the holidays. And then we tend to peak in May. And this year that didn't happen. Um, so what happened was in April, everything just went down. We had a 55% drop in listings overall, the majority of them in uh, single family homes. And then the market picked up again, the single family homes took off, the condos didn't tend to take off as quickly. And then uh, we had a very consistent sales of just under a thousand per month from July to October. And it looks like we're a little bit lower this month, but uh, this is very unusual. The number of homes that have been selling, it's been very, very consistent. And so you can see the list sale ratio here that we're moving into a seller's market. So right here, you can see basically you had about a 90% chance of selling your home. Uh, this is the total number of active listings, and you can see we started in 2018, November, at just under 2,400. We peaked at 3,000 in May of 2019. We went down again in December of 2019 and then peaked in June of this year at about 2,700 listings, and we've rapidly declined. Average sale price uh, with the decline in the number of listings, we've had an increase in the sale price. And as I mentioned, Oak Bay was a big part of that, uh, bringing the average over 1.1 million. And 
or just under 1.1 million. Note that the median price is not that high. It is in the 900 range. So that just says to me, we're getting upward pressure from homes in the higher price ranges and not very many listings, unfortunately, in the lower prices for single family homes. Let's just look at townhomes here and condos. Condos are on the top and we've had consistent pricing over the past two years uh, coming down from a peak in November 2018 and then being very consistent over the past 24 months and uh, ending up around 475, whereas townhomes declined, uh, reaching their lowest in December 2019 and then coming up higher this year. And the reason is people are looking for yards. They're also looking for space um, above one another so that they don't have to share living space all the way, um, all the time, like you do in a condo. And so it's become a very popular product, especially if you're able to get a little bit of a backyard. Looking at the different core areas of Victoria, Saanich West, the sales have gone up from 757 last year to 808. This is for November to November comparison, up 6.7%. View Royal is up 6.8%. Uh, Esquimalt's up 8.9% at 720-700. Vic West has gone up uh, from 704 to 767-900. That's 9%. And Victoria has gone up to 870-300. And this is up from 824-600 last year, which is a change of 5.5%. And finally, Oak Bay has gone from November 2019 with 1,162,000 to 1,241,000. That's up 6.8%. And these are all single family homes. Souk has also done well, gone up 16.4%. And that's because uh, people are tending to move out of the core and into more remote areas because they don't have to work close to home now and anybody um, who has been in a very um, steady job has also had more disposable income as they've been spending less on holidays and so a lot of people are purchasing homes outside of the core. The Highlands went up 6.3 percent as well from 868 to 923 and uh, Colwood has gone from 680 to 746. That's a change of 9.7%, with Langford up 11.6% from 641 to 715. And finally, Machosen has only gone up 5.2% from 937 to 986. So uh, if you are looking for homes in this area, your best bet for a deal is in Souk, followed by Langford and Machosen. In the peninsula, they've done very well. 956,000 uh, was the average for November 2019. Uh, sorry, this is the home price index. Um, and then November 2020 was a million forty-five. That's up 9.4%. In Sydney, the HPI went from 659 to 723. And that's a change of 9.6%. Uh, and Central Sandwich went up 12% from 750 to 840. So a benchmark HPI, what that is, is a home price index. It's based on um, an ideal home. So it's usually like three bedrooms, two baths, single or double car garage. And what they're doing is they're looking at where the ideal home is priced over time. So we're seeing an increase all across the city. This is a very interesting ratio. I like to look at it because it tells me uh, when it is around the 20% mark that we are at a balanced market. And you can see we've been hovering around a balanced market from March 2019 to about February 2020. And then we dipped again in the spring because of COVID and we rolled right into a seller's market. So right now, if you list your home, you have a really good chance, probably over 50% chance of selling your home. That's the ratio of total residential sales over total active residential sales. And so 
you can see sellers have a bit of a benefit right now if they list their homes. So that's your market update. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or want to know how your house is faring compared to the rest of the market, please give me a call. My name is Jane Johnston. I'm with the Briar Hill Group at Remax Camosun, and you can give me a call at 250-744-0775. And I'd be happy to assist you in helping you determine what you want to do in the next year or so with your property. All right, take care, have a great day, and we'll see you Monday, that's tomorrow at 10 a.m. And we're gonna be talking with Andrew Plank and we have our guest, Begum. She is a specialist in landscape and design. And she's gonna be talking to us after we do our market update for He Said, She Said, They Said, Monday mornings at 10 a.m. All right, have a great day. <laughs>